Hey guys, welcome back to our channel and if you're new, welcome. My name is Aisa and I'm really really glad you clicked on this video. So today I'm bringing you guys this nice natural hairstyle. Um, I tried something new so if you want to see how I achieved this wash and go, then keep on watching. But before we get into the video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. Don't forget to give this video a like if you want more hair tutorials, uh, makeup tutorials, fashion videos, whatever. Just, you know, leave that down below, comment it down below. And yeah, let's get right into this tutorial. So guys, I just came out of the shower, I just washed my hair. If you guys want to see my wash day routine, I'll leave it up here in the i card for you guys to go watch. So yeah, um, I do have my spray bottle just in case, but my hair is still wet. When I finished washing off my conditioner, I sectioned off my hair in four sections to make it easier for me to manage. So yeah, this is my hair. It's still pretty wet actually, so I don't think I'll need the spray bottle. But what I am going to do now, I'm going to go ahead and put in some leave-in conditioner. Um, this is the Jamaican Black Castor Oil one from She uh, Moisture. Um, I did use this in my wash day routine, so go check that out after this video. Like I said, I will leave it in the eye. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and section off the hair more than it is right now. Um, because I definitely want my hair to be like defined, okay? This is my first time trying a wash and go and I'm gonna try my best to like define my hair. Um, I don't really like wash and goes because when my hair dries, I don't know, we're, we're not going to be negative. Um, so I'll just be using two products, my leave-in and my gel. Oh, and don't mind my nails, guys. They kind of fell and I was just too lazy to put them back up. So yes, I know they look crazy, but it's okay. You're not going to talk about it. So yeah, I'm going to focus all of that on the length of my hair and look at my hair is already pretty much defined like I don't know why I never tried a wash and go but you know actually I do know I just didn't like how my hair would dry when I would wash it so we'll see how it, this one goes so yeah I put a lot on there focusing it on the ends I don't want to pack too much product then I'm gonna go with my tangle teaser and just like define that a little more see how it is the thing is my hair puffs up so much but we gonna try it so this is how with the tangle teaser next I'm going to use some gel um, I'm gonna use my Moco de Gorilla gel this is the punk one the yellow bottle I'll go pretty heavy handed on the roots first and then put it along the length of my hair just so my roots can like lay a little more I'll add some more along the length of my hair okay I think I definitely need to add a little more I want to like invest in a Denman brush I have a tangle teaser which is really nice but I also want a Denman brush because I would like to see like I feel like I would get more curl definition with that but this is actually not too bad. I'm just gonna keep working it until I get my desired like curl definition. I'm just gonna go and like just so that more of the strands are like really defined and the ends stay curly. So yeah, this is the first mini section. So I'm gonna separate this again in two sections. My hair has gotten like pretty thick over the years. It's crazy. Because it always used to be so fine, but now it's thick. So this is the section that I haven't done yet. The section that I've done. So I'll go in with my conditioner just to make sure my hair is really moisturized. 
add some more at the ends because that's the part that dries down the quickest. Add some gel. And then with my tangle teaser, I'll go and detangle and define my curls. My hair is shrinking up so much, so I don't know. And on top of that, I don't really have like I've never like cut my hair in like a proper shape, so I, I have a feeling that like it might not look the nicest because like I don't really have a shape to my hair. I never went to like professionally get it cut, so we'll really see how this goes, honestly. Um, how this looks, we'll work with it, you know? And this section is a little sitting a little dry, so I'm gonna add a bit of water. So some of them I am kind of separating and twisting because I want them to be a little more like the curls to be a little more defined but this is optional like a lot of people that I see that do wash and curls don't necessarily do this step I just want to define my curls a little more the thing with the tangle teaser I feel like it defines your ends really really well but not like the entire hair strand, as you can see. So that's why I'm going back in. But this step is optional, you don't have to do it. Um, I'm just going back in and like kind of coiling the hair. So as you can see, like I'm taking it where my hair naturally separates, because that's where I kind of see like strands that are curlier. That's what I'm doing. Okay, so this is what the back section looks like. Of course, it's not dry or nothing. Yeah, because when it's gonna dry, it's definitely gonna shrink up more. But yeah, let's see. I'm gonna do the rest of my head off camera and then I'll be back when I have like one of the front sections left. So yeah, I'm just gonna go do that and I'll be right back. Like that, you can see like what it looks like all together so i'll be back okay so i have one section left i pretty much got the technique down now so we are going to go through it i this is what my hair looks like right now like i just finished twisting this one but um this is the first section i have done it's pretty much dry it's probably not dry at the roots yet but it's pretty much dry like at the ends yeah so i'm just gonna show you guys how i do this um i think i'm gonna go for a side part middle parts never really were never really my thing so i'm just gonna section the key guys is to do like small sections like that really helps doing small sections it helps with defining your hair like so much more so definitely if you want to do a twist out so you see this section that i just sectioned off i'm gonna section it off again split it in two like that is gonna be like even more um defined that's what we want so this is my section it is a little dry so i'm gonna spray it rip that through put a little conditioner on my hands break that through and of course i'm trying to focus it on the ends because like i said that's the part that gets the driest the quickest so you want to make sure your ends are saturated and then i'm gonna go in with my gel first i'm gonna take a little bit on the tips of my um, fingers and just put that at like the base at my roots this is gonna help like my hair lay a little more so it's not as poofy 
and then with the rest I'm just going to rig that through and you can add like as much as you want obviously don't overdo it but as I'm raking through I'm just going to finger the tangle and like rake my fingers through that section I'm gonna add a little more gel not too much and you see how it's already like defining the curls that's what we want so I do realize like well I've known this for a while guys but I have like two different hair textures in my hair. Like my hair at the back, at the nape. I think that's what you call it, the nape. Um, basically my hair at the back is like really a looser curl texture compared to the rest of my hair. So yeah, now I'm taking my tangle teaser and I'm just raking that through as well. And you see like it pretty much defined them. But because this is the front and I want it to be super, super defined, I'm just going to take those curls where they separated, where they separate and just twist because the front and the top part are like the most important. Twist, so see this hair where it separates, I'm just gonna separate it and I'm gonna keep twisting, basically. And this can take a while, but Honestly, this definitely makes a difference, guys. I've done it like both ways with just using the tangle teaser, and I feel like this is better because the tangle teaser defines your ends, but not like the rest of your hair. So that's why I do it like that. And I take my time with this as much as possible. So you see this part, like I can see some separation, so I'm gonna separate it more just because it's kind of a bigger section and I want to twist as many like strands as possible so it can be defined as defined and big as possible so yeah that's that um, I did say I wanted a side part so I think I'm gonna go ahead and part that right now just so it's not like too hard later so the middle part I think I'm gonna do it like this over here I'm just gonna work on this section and I'm gonna part this in two as well and just do the same thing just keep doing the same thing and you want to take your time with the front guys because this is the front of your hair so you want it to be as defined as possible I know like it's a long process but this is where you really want to take your time because Okay, so this is the last section. I'm gonna split in two. And I'm gonna do these this way like that. It's gonna be like, basically um, my side part. Whew. The worst part about doing your natural hair is your arms get so tired okay so now i have the last little section left in the front let's do this so this is what it looks like um, yeah I don't know how I feel about it so far but I'm gonna let it dry like I said I don't really have my hair cut in a specific shape so this is what it looks like I think maybe I should try and I might do my edges a little bit and I'm gonna let it air dry I normally don't sit under dryers or like nothing like that. I always air dry my hair. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do for this too. 
Um, I'm going to lay my edges a little bit, not too much. And to do so, as always, I'll be using the olive oil edge control. This is like my go-to. I'm just going to put a little bit on my edges. I don't really want to overdo it, but I think definitely I can lay my edges a little bit. I think that's good. I don't really need to do the rest because it's all hidden, to be honest. So yeah, this is what it looks like. Um, it's still drying. I'm just going to let it air dry because I'm not really a fan about using blow dryers or anything or like sitting under a dryer or whatever. So I'm just going to let it air dry and when it's dry, I'll be back to show you guys how it dried and how it looks. I feel like this side is like way flatter, but I'm just going to let it like dry first before I start fluffing it out because I don't want it to be too frizzy, you know? So yeah, I'll be right back. So guys, um, it's been a few hours now. This is what my hair looks like. It's pretty much all dry now. Yeah, I don't feel any like patches like that are still wet. Um, it's pretty much all dried. Uh, this is what my wash and go looks like. Let me know what down below what you guys think and if you guys want to try this. It's not too bad. Let's see how, you know, how long it lasts. I can definitely come on here and give you guys an update on how long I kept this hairstyle. But yeah, if you guys like this tutorial, then comment that down below. And also let us know like what other hair tutorials you'd like to see if you like natural hair videos. And yeah, I'll see you guys in our next video. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye guys.